Welcome. Thank you for coming. This will be exciting tonight. So, what do we have? We have songs. We have a skit. We have videos. A lot of things. Um, and there's uh, refreshments afterwards. So, um, the other thing to tell you is on your, on this, does everyone have one of these? Okay. Okay, on the back is a QR code. If you're like me, you'd haven't used too many QR codes, but you can ask your grandchildren or your children. They probably are really good at it, but you can look at this and there's videos on there, and this is, this is good to look at. So, all right, let's get started.
wrapped in swaddling clothes, and you will call him Jesus. How could this be? I'm not even married. Nothing is impossible with God. And for also, your cousin Elizabeth is having a son. To be my baby, my wombs leapt for joy. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit have rejoiced in God my Savior. There, they're on their way. We're almost there. See that sign? We're here. Let's go find an inn. Have any room? No, I'm full. Go away. We'll find another room. What do you want? Do you have any room? No, I don't have any room. Oh, but wait, I was stable. We'll take it.
on fire. Maybe we should cook something. Yeah, I'm hungry for some hot food. Fear not! In Bethlehem a Savior is born, lying in a manger. We sh we we should let's go hurry. We should go worship the new king. Knock, knock. Who's there? We're shepherds, and we come to worship the new king. Oh my. Come in. His name is Jesus. Oh. Do you want to hold him? Yes. The angel said to follow the star and worship the new king. Oh, an angel really came to you. Yeah, his name was Gabriel. The same one came to me in a dream. We are here to bring the new king present, gold, frankincense, and mirth.
and swaddling clothes lying in a manger. For behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. You shall find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. For behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy shall, that shall be for all people.
I give you good tidings of great joy, which shall be for all people. Happy for us. Jesus came for all people. He came for everyone. Behold, I bring you good tidings for great joy, which shall be for all people. Thank you for coming. I could tell you what I said this morning, one thing, because I say it almost every Sunday. I bet I'm quoting Jesus. He said, if you don't become as a little child, you can't enter the kingdom of heaven. So that might be like, what does that mean? Let's see. I don't know. Maybe you could spend a lifetime asking that question, especially as you get older and older. 
Pastor O'Connor is a good example, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was pretty amazing. I'm thankful. Yeah, God's doing something in us. You could hear something, and being as most of you aren't visitors, I'm speaking to those of you who are going to be here tomorrow probably. Um, you could move on what's being said, whether you understand it or not. And you could say, well, that's really a new revelation, John. Well, yeah, but I wasn't always so hot to move on things that I first heard, you know. But over the years, I've come to see. Uh, Pastor O'Connor is a, such an amazing example of that. Someone who hears something and instantly, do you know what I mean? Just like children or whatever it is that he's saying. We want children's faces. How long has he been saying that? I don't know. You know, so this is, what do we call that? Our play, the, no, who's the guys? Bells of St. Mary performance, you know, except I think ours is way better than Bells of St. Mary, but at least you kind of get the picture, you know, someone points you to that and say, maybe we could do something more like that instead of trying to be too polished. I mean, it'd be nice to hit the right notes and David James needs to be humbled and I mean, there's things, but <laughs> your piano teacher's here too. I don't know where he is. Anyway, but. <laughs> anyway, it was good. Yeah, it was good. So being as I know you all, and even if I don't know you, I know one thing. Because the Bible says it, it says all men have fallen short, come short of the glory of God or what God intended. And that's us. When did we do that? Back in high school or something like that? No, today we've fallen short. So as a pastor, then I would say to you this right now in Christ's stead, in his stead as a pastor, his pastor, I forgive you all of your sins, every one of them. I don't care if you were 15 or 10 or 92, you know, I forgive Christ forgave, died for all the sins of the whole world, your sins, and he forgives you. That's a guy. You ever wonder what the gospel is? I mean, I used to wonder, what exactly is the gospel? You know, I think, I think if I was to put it in a sense, I would say it's the forgiveness of sins with no strings attached. You know, every one of them. So, in light of that, I don't know what you have going, but we do have refreshments. What's refreshments anyway? Like coffee and, huh? Cookies, coffee, things. Anyway, it's not a dinner or something like that, though. Okay, all right. So, you are dismissed into that, whatever that is.